Hello? On a lesson of Equiapim Latte language. Equiapim Latte is closely related to Equiapim Chirpon and the Bua language spoken by people of Enum and Boso. Latte is spoken on the Equiapim Mountains together with Chirpon. And Latte is seen as a language proper, whereas Chirpon is seen as a rather colloquial version of Latte. So, my for some people normally say, Latte is poor uh, guan and triple is elective guan as in the form of humor or fun. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's begin. And you realize there's a different introduction to the videos now, yeah. And thanks to Solomon Tete, and um, he's a beat maker, musician, and music producer in Australia. and he did this for me as well as genesis music and tika robert tika grant rtg who also did this for me and technically the uh, thanks to all of them because for them to watch this channel and think of rather producing a song specifically for this channel it makes me know that at least i should keep on promoting Ghanaian languages and you all like what I'm doing. So thank you very very much for your supporting. And please if you are watching and you don't and if not subscribe yet, please subscribe because that's the only way to get the notifications or you get notification as and when a new lesson is uploaded. When you don't subscribe, how do you know? Okay, and please recommend these lessons and this channel to others so that Ghanaian languages can be strong because we, I can't do this alone. I need your help to promote Ghanaian languages. And there is a channel which you will find the link in the description box below called Pauline Kodok, where I'll be teaching German, Italian, French, Spanish, and so many others. Also, air documentaries and stuff. And kindly check the description box below. You see Pauline Kodok, click on it, it will take you to a lesson called What is a Language? And subscribe because hopefully from next week I'll start the French lessons because most of our Ghanaian students struggle for an easy lesson which will use Ghanaian language to teach French and even though I may be using English as a medium I'll use some Ghanaian languages including Ga, Akan and Guan to teach the French even where possible I'll use Ewe so I'll plead with you all to recommend Polinko Doc for students struggling to learn French and let them start subscribing because hopefully next week the lesson will be in. So as and when the lesson gets in by next week, they are well aware of it. So that was much and let's begin. If you have latte. So how do you say come in latte? We say be. 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 And what of um, here? That's infe, infe, infe. So then, if come is be, and here is infe, how do you say come here? We say benfe, benfe. Yeah, so um, benfe, come here. The word of go, go is nye, nye. So if go is near, how do you say there? There is infane, infane, infane. So then go there will be nyenfane, nyenfane, nyenfane. Now how do you say pass in Latin? So as in pass here, so pass that is true. Okay, true, true. But normally it is w. Okay, so. Cho. Cho. Now, you realize that I, I used one O. There's one O on the screen, but it's like we place stress on the O. So, though the O is not a double O, it is one O. 
one language have that feature the stress or vowel endings so it's not double sound but it's just one but the concern you put in the difference is you realize that the stress will go and you understand it so maybe come and pass we say betro betro now how do you say look or see in latin that is che 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 so then come and see beche 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 but there are instances where you can lay stress on the beche when you say beche that's when you are trying to uh, place stress on the che to become che but that is beche okay now um, how do you say go and see then that's yeche yeche go and see Now, when you want to say collect, it's supposed to be so, but then we place a stress on the so, it becomes so, so, so. So it's like, as we place the stress on the so, and the, the stress is rather a falling stress, so it's so. So come and collect, be so, be so. Okay. Now, let's learn how to say, how are you? Now, um, how are you? We say, ente, ente, uyo, kete. Ente, uyo, kete. Ente, uyo, kete. The reason by saying, me yo, bale. Me yo, bale. Ente, uyo, kete. Me yo, bale. And, it's not as a example of place stress. You say, Me That's when you are placing the stress on it. Mio bale. But mio bale. So you can place the stress, mio bale. Or mio bale. Either way. Well, latte is quite flexible. So you place stress or you take out the stress. Okay. So then, uh, you want to say a thing. That is, ete. 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 So if a uh, come and collect is. Uh, beso. Now, so come and collect some that's beso ete. Be so ete. So be so ete. Be so ete. Be so ete. Be so ete. Now, be so ete comes from me come and buy something. So so means collect. It means buy. Okay. And what of go buy something or go and buy something? Yes, sweetie. Yes, sweetie. Okay. Now, um, lesson how to say, I am coming in Latin. Now, we know a uh, come to be be. And I in Latin is me. Me. So that I'm coming. We have this uh, one auxiliary that links a pronoun and a verb and in chirepon when you check the expression bottle you see the chirepon basics one when you when refer to enzima a futu it is always there gonja likpe they have this auxiliary even in kunya and this auxiliary uh, somehow it changes or it alternates within every one language but sim it's quite amazing that latte and enzima uh, tend to have closely related auxiliaries. And in latte, it is de, de. So the I'm coming, we say me, de, be. So I am coming. The de is more of a continuous auxiliary. So me, de, be. But then our lattes. Are somewhat um, should I say corrupted? I don't use the word corrupted, but I like to use a um, changed medebe over time to in the bed. In the bed, they've changed the me over time to in the bed. So you know, I'm saying in the bed more than medebe, but then the actual one is medebe. 
So if I'm coming, but they want to want to say like I'm going to buy something, then they say they don't really, they don't really say in the best way it is. Rather they say me the best way it is. Me the best way it is. Or instances you can also say in the best way it is in that way. Now so I'm going is also me day. Me day. So I'm going to buy something. Me the best way it is. Me the best way it is. So then, what of I'm going to see something? Midi e chi ete. Midi e chi ete. Then, um, go and buy something. Yes, ete. Yes, ete. Okay. So then, let's learn um, how to say take in Latin. Well, I've ever said that so is a uh, take, buy, and collect. But then we have a more appropriate way of saying take. That is true. True or bete. Bete. So you can say true or bete. True is not really guan, but bete is guan. Because the efutu say bete, the enzymes also use it. The gonjas use it. The intrumbulus use it. So bete cuts across every guan community. So then, it tells you that bete is the original way of saying take in one. But then true, maybe they might have borrowed it over time or we don't know how true came about. But then bete should be the real one. But then either way, let us use true more than bete. Okay. So maybe, come take something. Betrete. Okay. Now, money in latte sika. Sika so. Betuska. So now let's learn how to say a uh, thank you in Latin. That is in pe ji wule. In pe ji wule. There is some nasal sound somewhere. In pe ji wule. In pe ji wule. Please pay attention to the nasal sound. In pe ji wule. Okay, that's so in pe is life. Life, so life is yours. In pe ji wule, or me na wun pe, me na wun pe, in pe ji wule, or me na wun pe. That's I give you life. Me na wun pe. But then, uh, if I is me, what of you? That is wo, wo. So that's why we say me na wo. Okay, so then. How would you say um, you, the plural version, that is any, any. So then, if you want to say thank you all, you say, that's thank you all, okay. so I would like to pause here for now, this is the first lesson. And not no rushing it. Um, I will at this in time chat. I will still like to introduce Polinko Doc, and that is in the description box below, where I used to teach French, Spanish, and stuff. And I'm going to use the local methods to approach international languages so that you can easily grasp it. And if you have a child suffering with French, and you're always worried as to how you can get your child excellent you should know don't worry i've got it covered so just subscribe to polling kudok in the description box below also look up a crapping shape on and the one alphabet too as found the description box below and let's make Ghanaian languages strong also i'd like to introduce my book no ghana better which is almost large because technically i'm done with the book so it left with African read and a book patch for us to solve some petty petty issues. Then the book will set to roll online. Yeah. So not even petty issues, so that there's not that there's petty issues. Like the book is ready to be launched. And what's no Ghana better about? There was a previous ad uh, that ran throughout this channel. And no Ghana better is a book in which I investigated all the linguistic all the languages in Ghana. 
Well, previously we, we used to think there are five ethnic groups in Ghana, but I realized there were nine and not five. Who would have known there is a Senufu ethnic group in Ghana? No one would have thought that. Uh, some tribes are seen as Guan. Meanwhile, they are not Guans. They are called the GTNs. And it goes on like that. Do you want to know the history of the Ghana people? Do you want to know the history of a latte? It's like I documented all the 69 language groups in Ghana. Actually, there are 69. People used to think there are 12 or 14, but there is actually 69. And it's all in my book. And you are going to find the accurate list. There are documentation. The first one they celebrate, where they are, what they do. So if you're a researcher, a traveler or something, and you want to know uh, in the north how many languages are spoken, how did the name Tamale come about, how did the name Latte come about, how did the name Chipon come about, how did the name Enzima come about, who is the Konfanochi, is it truly Enzima as they see, is it truly Latte or the, from the cook, is it away? My book has solved all those issues and it brings all these issues to rest. You want to know, uh, you some you've heard that Ga is ham. There are Ga words in Latin. There are Latin words in Ga. Why is that so? All those proofs are there. You want to know uh, a half region. What language is spoken there? I've solved that. Bono region, Bono East region, Savannah region, North East region. Sometimes you can ask. You've heard of Chakosi. Why is Chakosi language related to Latin? Why is it related to if it's related to Nzima? Why is it related to Sifi? All those issues have been clarified. The book is over 200 pages and it just covered all the ethnography of Ghana. So then it should tell you the type of book this is. And it's called No Ghana Better. And it will be launched on this platform very soon. As well, watch out for the new documentary on Pauline Kodog Why Filled on Our Beaches. So you can still subscribe to Pauline Kodog because it's also coming up. And thank you very, very much for watching this lesson. And as and when it is necessary, I will address everyone concerning the book. Thank you very, very much. And this time, I upload lessons once in a week for each channel because there is the Ghana Adangwe channel, the Guan channel, so the Pauline Kudok. So I can't really be doing more for this. So I have to balance it. So each channel will now have lessons once in a week so that it will balance up and thank you very very much